Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Literary here, Trails in the Sky. Today, well, we're gonna be doing some side quest. Yeah, maintenance delivery. We got Tobias. I'm looking for someone to carry a maintenance kit to the lighthouse for routine inspection. Uh, for job details, please come see me at the Orgle Factory. Uh, secret of the old map, Jimmy. I'm searching for some pirate treasure hidden along the Gull Seaside Way. If anyone is willing to help me in this investigation, please contact me. I'll be at I'll be waiting at the chapel. Good place for a treasure hunt. Amelia, I'm looking for an escort for my uncle, who's dead set on heading out to the Crone Trail. Uh, the Sapphire Gleam, the treasure house of Galmore, has sto was stolen from the mayor's residence. Please try to find where... Oh, it's Gilbert. True. Uh, tr please try to find the whereabouts of this uh, Chandelabrum ASAP. Really? They Really? They stole one, a whole one of those, huh? All right, sorry about that. Whenever I mow the grass, I apparently become like the world's most congested person or something. And it just makes me feel like crap all day. Anyways, there's an annoying traveler causing problems for everyone around him at the ear. Let's in. I'm looking for someone who can resolve this amicably. Please come ASAP directly to Air Letton at the east end of the Caswell Causeway. A Caswell Causeway. I also want to go and look for those shiny palms today because I don't know where they went. Anyways, where are we going? Let's go and do this one first because it's right next to us. Are you Tobias? Uh, Mr. Tobias, we come here from the guild. Oh, is this about the maintenance kits? No, your timing is e exemplary. W you, will you be able to make delivery post haste? Yeah, sure. This brick of a thing is all yours now. Brick of a thing? Are you daft? I'm telling you it's heavy. Very heavy, here. Feel for yourself. You okay with it? No bone fractures f uh, forming, to your knowledge? It's filled to the brim with replacement parts and every tool you can imagine for replacing the old mint light at the f of that size. It's no big deal at all. I'm stronger than I look. Believe me, we just need uh, to carry this to the lighthouse, right? Indeed. To Vok, the lighthouse keeper. Vogged? Vogged? I don't know. He's expecting it. Its content is quite valuable, so please be careful as you go, as you can. I still can't believe it. Such responsibility, such strength, such grace. Ah, youth. Uh, what? John told me about you two, but seeing for myself just how peppy you lift... Uh, pe peppy you are lifts my spirits to the sky. Really? Peppy, huh? No, no, we're just, um, professional? You're young. That's what you are. And naturally, I was worried and trusting something so valuable to potential reckless use. But I worry no more. Hmm. Yeah, we may be young, but that doesn't automatically mean we're reckless. Oh, no, 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 no. You got it all wrong. I just meant that I wasn't sure how old how old man Vogt... Vogt... Vog? Yeah, we'll just go Vog. Could take it. Oh, why do you say that? Is there something we should know about him? Well, you might say he's a bit of an eccentric. He can be a little abrasive when it comes to younger people. So in other words, he's a weirdo. That's one way to put it. <laughs> just, just... Okay. Uh, I, 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 I do really enjoy some of the lines this game throws out at me sometimes. Just try to understand where he's coming from. Being a lighthouse keeper is lonely work, so he's a, li uh, so a little eccentric is a, is to be expected. The lighthouse is crucial for ships to be able to navigate safely, so the keeper work is very is a very big responsibility. Gotcha. So really important work. When he was a fisherman, he used to down plenty of drinks at Levantar. He now lives at the lighthouse, though. He rarely gets a chance to have his favorite drink. It's pretty sad. I'd really like to go ahead with him, uh, with getting him what he wants, but well, I probably said too much. Either way. Don't let the old man's unpleasant unpleasantness get to you, okay? Okay, get it. Is there anything else before going? Nothing in particular. Once you're done, I'd like you to return here. Take care, and I'll see you later. Can't we just go to that place and be like, hey, can we get this dude's favorite drink? Hey. Hey, good to see you. Hmm? Are you not going, uh, hey, aren't you going to the lighthouse? That's right. We have to deliver something to, uh... Vog, the lighthouse keeper. Oh, is that so? I figured as much from the look of the bag. The old man went to the lighthouse a long time ago. I guess he's still doing okay. He used to come here a lot, right? He's a fisherman. He loves his drink and his and he gamble and he loves to gamble. He especially loves a good azalea rose, which is a cocktail made with fruit juice. Isn't that? I think I had that. Didn't I get one of those? He's missed around here. This he's missed around this place. 
We'd love to see him again, but he never comes down to have a drink. It's a rough job he has. Yeah, it sounds like it. Oh, right. Uh, so if it's no trouble, would you mind bringing this him bringing him one? One what? One of those cocktails, seeing as you're heading to the lighthouse and all. I'm not making a formal request or anything. If it gets to be a pain to carry, you can just dump it out on the way. So basically just drop off the supplies, right? Would you mind, Joshua? No, I don't see it being an issue. I mean, we are doing free work and that's completely unacceptable in Bracer co Code. I could really use something salty to go with it, but I don't have anything like that right now. The season's great for Minori especially salted anchovies oh i also saw i said uh, avocado for a second i was like that doesn't make any sense all right so is that how we get bonus points okay so yeah we're probably gonna have to go to minoria then uh where else do we gotta go let's see um you're at the chapel. Where the hell's the chapel? The chapel's over there. This is the chapel, right? Yeah. Jimmy! Huh? I saw you guys the other day. Nice to see you again. Oh, hey, you're the guy we met. Oh, you're the dude we saved, right? You can call me Jimmy. You really saved my skin before, so let me thank you again. So, have you checked out the bulletin board today? Well, yes. But why in liberal did you pick here to meet, of all places? Well, I kind of stand out here, don't I? I mean, it costs a lot to be put up in one of those uh, to put up one of those quests, and I figure people will see me here and ask, "Hey, why are you here in the chapel?" <laughs> You're not wrong. And then I'll be like, "So that, yeah, so that you could help me find some awesome treasure." Well, then how about we get down to business? That request of yours certainly sounds intriguing. <laughs> You're glad you agree. Well, I actually just acquired an ancient map a short while ago, and you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Wouldn't believe what now? It leads to the treasure of the great pirate... What? Shimmer? Shimmer! Sure, Shimmer. What? No way! But, um, I don't really know who that is. <laughs> you never heard of Shimmer? Are you from Ruin? Or, or wait, are you from elsewhere? Either way, Shimmer! How can you not know? Don't go making assumptions. If my memory serves me correctly, Shimmer was a pirate that used to um, work in the waters around Ruin around 100 years ago. Precisely. Nicely done. Leave it to the Royal Academy to teach the right things. Shame about the uniform, though. Wow, you know a lot, Chloe. What's wrong with her uniform? What's wrong with her uniform? She looks fine. Come on, Estelle. It's not that impressive. It's just the story I heard, that's all. I'd like to ask you to look for Shimmer's treasure. The location marked on the map. Do you remember where I was when we met before? It was it was a it was a pit in the sandy beach. The Gull Seaside Way, right? Exactly. The map has that mark uh, the pit, that pit marked. Is that why you were there? That's right. I was conducting a field survey, and since I found this place, monsters have started showing up. So I figured that I should get over, get some professionals to take take over. So what's the uh, so what's next after the pit? The map shows an X to the south east of it. I figure that's got to be the location of the treasure. You you might be right. Oh, oh yeah, I need to make a note of this. <laughs> well, let's take a minute to work out a plan. We can go to the beach and ruin, find the pit, go directly southeast from there. Yep, that's that. Then uh, you've done a great job. Thank you. Hmm. But will we, will we ever find it? All we know is it. All we know is to look southeast of the from the pit. From and yes, and considering how wide the beach is, that still leaves a large area to search. Yeah, we just don't have enough information. Hey, come on, guys! Don't be getting all negative on me. If you comb every inch of the beach on the Gulf Seaside Way, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. So in other words, treat it like a test of endurance. Sounds right up your alley, Estelle. Well, I suppose you're right, but still, it wouldn't hurt to just have a tiny bit more to go on. It's not the most efficient way to go about it, but what other choice is there? We'll just have to search the beach from top to bottom and hope we find something. Sigh, I guess you're right. Okay, if we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know. I'm counting on you. Any treasure you find, we split equally. 
I'm never coming back here if we find treasure. Apparently, I could have kept that gun, too. Like, the prototype gun? Like, I guess I didn't have to turn in the quest, and I could have just kept that gun. I probably should have done that. It was tempting. What are you doing in here? Other than praying. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be rude. But you were standing outside before, so ever since Jimmy came here, it's been kind of suspicious. He is a suspicious dude. All right, next on the list is Escort Grandpa, but we're not gonna go talk to them just yet. So we need to go talk to Gilbert. And then this way. Where do we need to go? Crone Trail, is that? Is that near um, the causeway? Maybe. I don't know. Where was I going? Oh, Gilbert. Where's the mayor's house? Not here, I think. Down here? No, this is the warehouse district. Like, this would not be a place for a mayor's house. You know, let's, uh, let's, like, drop down to the, the causeway here real fast. Check out the map. Okay, that's the checkpoint. That's where we need to escort that dude. This, oh, it is the mayor's residence. Um, the Chrome Way has to be up north then. All right. Hey, Gilbert, what up, dog? Oh, dear. I can't believe the Sapphire Glim was stolen. And why now, of all possible times? Oh, you're here. Uh, I've been waiting for you to show up. Oh, and Chloe's with you. Yes, I've been coming them. We came as soon as we saw the bulletin board. Uh, what seems to be the problem? As you can see, the pedestal used to be adorned with a chandelabrium. Oh, man. It really just disappeared without a trace? Things being what they are, I would like to ask you to conduct a search. What say you? Are you available? Yeah, sure. I'm with me. Sure thing. Excellent. Now, let me give you uh, give you some background. The stolen item is a chandelabrium called the Sapphire Glim. It's a fine piece of craftsmanship dating back to just after the Orbo Revolution. The Dalmore family heirloom, in fact. It would sell for hundreds of thousand of mera even if it ever were it ever placed on the open market. Hundreds of thousand mera? I see. It's probably not an issue of petty burglary then. Huh? It's not. You have to have some kind of safe way of laundering something that valuable. So whoever took it must be well connected. Or an idiot. I get it. So that would rule out most of your everyday thieves. Well, actually, money wasn't the primary motivation for this crime, it seems. Huh? What do you mean? Look at this card. That which nests were uh, that which nest here is the beast more dire than uh, any other. Continue to give praise to the spirit whose blue light was lost in, lost in the darkness. Free the spark it left behind, and I will be free. Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adios sees only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Do so, and the blue light will be revealed, Phantom Thief B. What's this? A note left behind on the bare pedestal. It appears to be written by the thief himself. He wants us to know he, wants us to know he did it? So I'm inclined to believe. Got it. So if all he was after was money, this is a wee bit excessive. What he wrote must have some significance. It almost sounds like it's some kind of poetry. Oh god, is it Oliver? Hmm, blue light lost in the darkness. I'm guessing the blue light refers to the sol uh, stolen chandel us. Uh, chandelabrium. Chandelabrium, yeah, there we go. Candelabrium, if I can actually talk. Yes, I'd imagine so. Candelabrium is said to have been made at great pains by the town folks and given as a gift. That might explain the give praise to the spirit part. Oh, I get it. So what about the last part? It's not like he wants us to look in a specific direction. Look to the three-eyed giant which tower over, towers over the settlement. Well, it certainly sounds like it's telling us where to go. And that destination has to be important somehow. The settlement bit probably refers to ruin. So there must be some kind of three-eyed giant somewhere in the city. Hmm, a giant. Well, it's obviously a clue. I'll take make a note of it. I can I can be a little use in this matter. I must be off soon, as I have other work to 
a work to which I must attend, and so I shall leave you to your investigation. Sure thing. So first thing is to search those room, top to bottom. That won't be necessary. Why not? It's already been looked over by the residents. It looks like I, I liked for you to search the surrounding area, but the card left left you with a, d a distinct clue to follow. Don't tarry. The candelabrium must be recovered. I see. Then we'll abide by your wishes. I guess the client is always right. Please understand. I have no desire to interfere with the professionals in this matter. I greatly appreciate your understanding. Now I'll leave you to your, uh, le I'll leave you to concentrate. I'll be upstairs, so let me know if you find anything. Was it him? Man, this is a strange case. I guess we just have to see where this card leads us. It must be hit somewhere in ruin. I guess we'll have to be patient and stay focused. Come on, let's get moving. Sure. I mean, I quickly scope the area. Make sure it wasn't Gilbert. Wait, we were here earlier. Did I see that item? Hmm, I don't remember. No, no, I don't need anything. Three-Eyed Giant. Three-Eyed Giant, is, uh, is the lighthouse close by? Good, wouldn't that, like, does it have three lights? Would that be three-eyed? And the lighthouse is giant. Hmm. I don't know. It's not the Saffron Tower, is it? That doesn't really look over this village, does it? I don't think it does. I mean, village, it's like a city. Well, maybe we'll save this one for last or something. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go uh, look for the treasure. Wait a minute. Let's go back there. I got you. Okay, the bluer your bl blood, the prettier the face isn't true. Have you seen the mayor and that ambassador dude? They ugly. Like, so ugly. They like me ugly. Even though I'm pretty. I'm a pretty man. Alright, let's go to the beach. Let's do a side quest today instead of running around getting these quests. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the seaside or Gull Seaway or Seaside Way or whatever the hell it's called. And one, look for the shiny palms. Well, no, I want three. I want three CP before I do that. So I can actually, like, kill one relatively easily. Yeah, because, like, I'm not sure if Joshua and Estelle are going to be strong enough for their CP to kill them. And I would love to see uh, Chloe's. Someone leveled up. Who leveled up? Something happened and I wasn't paying attention. God damn it. We don't want to go that way. It's over here. Have I come down here? Yes, I have. Hey, you. Give me some CP. Maybe the shiny palms are down there. Chloe's, uh... Is faster than uh, Estelle. That seems to be a trend that Estelle's not that fast. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Hmm. Maybe the shinies are down there? I don't know. It was such luck I ran into him last time. Like, I was just moving along, and all of a sudden... BAM! Shiny encounter. Oh! There they are! Yes. Let's see if we can kill it. Sadly, no. Okay. Well, he's got one. Oh! <laughs> oh! Fantastic. All right. I think I need to kill one of those. Like, oh Jesus! That guy wouldn't be a problem, but I don't need to fight him. Um, I saw the achievement that was like kill a shiny palm in each chapter. 
So I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for that one. Cause it doesn't sound that hard. Is this the area? This is the area. All right, so. Pretty much here, like right here. And we want to go to the southeast. Just down here. I hope that wasn't the treasure. Maybe I should have looked around town some more. Hmm. Well, he said beach, right? I don't see anything. So it has to be down here somewhere. Like, it has to be southeast of here. And that's the surprise encounter. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Maybe I should actually go back. Why go back, Kronos? Well, I don't know. It's like, there probably is something around that will actually explain to me what I need to know. We'll look around the beach a little bit more. Did he give us the map? Like... Basically, you just have to follow the beach. So it might not even be on this map. Ow! Good lord! Yeah, that deserves a dual strike. Oh, it fucking explodes. Alright, um... Ooh, evade too! I don't think I need that. Do you have evade? No, you don't. What do you have for evade? Probably be good. Okay, so... That's a little worrying that it says fall the beach the ruin, and it's not search this area for... the treasure. I mean, it could be out here, right? Maybe? You know, I... I picked this one because I was like, oh, how hard could this one be? It literally is on a beach, and there's only a few, like, locations. Alright, so... We'll quickly check here. Don't think... I'm gonna be able to find it. Wow, maybe it's this way? <laughs> it's this, it's, it's this, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't even see this part on the map before. I was just trying to go around the mountain. The Skull, Daggers, and Torn Map. Wow, awesome daggers! That's some pretty, they, they seem pretty ancient. From the look of them, they may even date back to the Orbital Revolution. Well, what about the piece of paper? This looks like a piece of sea chart. Do you think maybe this is the treasure that Jimmy was talking about? Sorry, but I don't think this has anything to do with it. I'd say this is probably washed ashore from somewhere else. Are you kidding me? It might have been cargo from a shipwreck. Yes, I believe you're right. I heard that angel, uh, that such accidents used to happen often. So before airships, everyone traveled by water, right? I wonder if this beach is right on the old trade route or something. This wasn't the treasure? You're kidding! What do you mean that wasn't the treasure? Can I equip those items? Hey, Joshua. That's, like, better. How much better? That's a lot better! 
That's 16 points better. Joshua, why do you keep getting all the good equipment? All right, so now we know that the map can be a little bit tricksy. Hmm. That is South Isis, though, so... I don't know how that's not the treasure. And you say that... Found a torn map... Hmm. All right, well... I you know, guess I'll worry about that next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you enter my video section, check out some of the content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching, y'all. Have a great day.